All right, hello and welcome. How are you doing? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server on your computer so you can play with your friends across the internet. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just playing with a few friends and so it isn't too much of a toll as far as the bandwidth goes. Um, this is really quick and easy. Uh, you can do it a lot faster than the actual length of this video is, so don't be discouraged by the length of the video. Uh, keep in mind you do need a fairly powerful computer with probably at least four gigabytes of RAM to do this all on the same machine, but you can always give it a shot if you have less than that. <clears throat> also, the server doesn't necessarily have to be on the same computer you're playing on, so if your computer has only like two gigs of RAM, uh, consider that if you know, if you have multiple computers in your house. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download LogMeIn's Hamachi is the name of the program, and you can get that at uh, FileHippo slash download underscore Hamachi, and uh, the link is also in the description. So go ahead and download that. Da there we go. Download that, and um, if you want to go ahead and install that and pause the video, and then when we come back, I will show you how to set that up. Okay, now that you have Hamachi installed, you're going to want to go ahead and, if it didn't already when you launched it, hit this little power button, and it's going to do a little poking and prodding, a few things like that, and then it should say that you're connected and show your IP here. Uh, what you'll want to do then is click on Network, and then create a new network, type in an ID here and a password, and write them down and remember them, or put them in a you know, a notepad if you think that you'll forget them, and hit create. And then when you do, it will look like this. It just won't have uh, these other people connected to it. It'll just be you up here on the top, or the name of the network, actually. All right. Okay, now assuming you own Minecraft already, you'll want to go to uh, minecraft.net and download the server exe, uh, like this right here, and then download that, minecraft server.exe. All right. Um, now, you want to uh, create a folder somewhere that you want to keep all of your server files, like in your user folder on Windows. So create uh, something, a new folder, name it like uh, Minecraft Server. All right. All right, now you'll want to get your Minecraft Server exe and wherever you download it to and move or copy it over to that folder you just created. Okay. And uh, before you run it, though, you're going to want to go to your Start menu, and if you're on Windows 7, you can just type Notepad and hit Enter, or else navigate to uh, Notepad, however you can find it. And then you're going to want to type in the code, or paste it, that I have in the description, which is this. You're going to type that in. Uh, basically, that runs the server with more memory than it has by default. It defaults to run with 100 megabytes, which is pretty low, and... Uh, Mojang recommends that you run it with a gigabyte at least, um, but I found that I can run it with 512, and generally with the two friends logged in, it says that I have like 87, 90 percent um, of the memory still free, so that's not even a problem. Uh, you know, I can't handle hosting a ton of people anyways because of my bandwidth. You know, my upload's only so fast, so I think the 512 is just fine. Uh, so do that and type in whatever you want. If you want to run it with a gig, you just type 1024 in both of these fields here. One other thing I almost forgot to mention is where it says uh, Java slash JRE7. You want to make sure whatever Java version you have installed, you put the right uh, text in there. So it could be JRE6 or what have you. And also make sure that it is in program files. Um, the x86 or it'll be just program files depending on 64-bit or 32-bit versions of Windows and you can probably figure that out uh, with Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay and then hit file, save. So navigate to where you saved your server file, click all files and there you can see that that's where you have your server file. Then you want to type like, mm, I don't know, something like run mine, oh, not mince, minecraft server and then you want to type dot bat and make sure that you are on all files otherwise you will just make a text file that has dot bat in the name okay and then hit save there you can just close that um, if you saw the folder open you can see now that you have a windows batch file in that folder uh, what you could do like what I did here is you can drag that right click 
hold, drag it out to your desktop, and hit create shortcut, then you have a shortcut, and you can remove that little bit if you want. Um, also, if you want to get this nice little icon, like the Minecraft and the server file, just right click on it, go to properties, click change icon, okay, that happens, hit browse, and then just click on either one of those, because they both have the icon in the program, hit open, there it is, hit OK, hit OK, and then, then you have a pretty little grass and dirt icon. Uh, another thing you could do is, oh, Hama Hamachi is already set to run with Windows Start, I believe, um, and you could also take one of these shortcuts and copy it to your startup folder right here. So if you open that, and you can copy that there, and you see I already have it there, so I don't need to Ooh, I put one there. Um, and then that your server will run when you start Windows along with Hamachi. People can just log in. So as soon as you start your computer, if you don't leave it running all the time, it'll just be ready to go as soon as your desktop is showing. All right, so go ahead and run your Minecraft server either using that shortcut or clicking the batch file. But you don't want to just run it because then it won't run with, if you just click the you know the exe here you definitely want to run the batch file that's why we made it so that it starts your server with the right amount of ram so run that um, da, 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 da. mine i already have another server running so it's acting weird but it will say that it's loading the world and it'll probably say not enough ram even though it is more ram than by default so then when it says done you actually i don't remember why but you want to hit stop um, after you run it the first time and it will, well, it won't do all this. It will save and close this window all nicely. And what you will see is it will now look like this inside of your Minecraft server folder, with the exception of I actually put Minecraft the game inside there too, and I have a shortcut, so that's why I have that there. But it creates this world folder and all these other files, server properties, which you can actually edit certain things in there, which we won't get into. They aren't super important. All the defaults should be fine if you're playing survival. Uh, with your friends. Um, so you'll see all of these, but it, it just does something weird when it creates them the first time, and so you want to stop the server and then just run it again. Alright, now before we get to connecting your friends on your server, you're gonna, well, you launch the server again, make sure that it's up and running. It'll look something like this at the top. Okay, and it'll show like your, right here it shows your memory use. See, I'm 97% free right now, no one's even logged in. Okay, so you're gonna want to run your Minecraft. Okay, now that we got that running, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, log in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so go to multiplayer, and there's two ways of doing this when it's you, when you're the host. Okay, you can go to direct connect, and you can type local host one word, and then you will log in like that. I'm not sure if there's a benefit to doing that, um, if it uses less RAM or makes the connection simpler, but the other way would be, this is what your friends will have to do, is add server. Uh, right here you can type whatever you want to. It doesn't have to match um, what you typed in Hamachi when you set the server up. This is just a name only uh, for in Minecraft. But you do have to type the server address, and this address, let me close this to make sure that it records. Uh, th that address is right here on your Hamachi when you have it running. Um, now your friends, when they set up Hamachi, um, this will show their number, so they need to go down this list, find you, which you should be on the top of the list, and copy that number, or else you can just tell them that number and they type it in. So what you do, run Minecraft again. So you get in there, uh, you hit add server, you type whatever you want there, and then you type in that address. And when you do that, you will have this right here. And you can just double click that, or click it once and hit join server and that will log you in also. So now to set up your friends they need to watch this video. <laughs> no, not really, but they can watch it if they want. Um, they need to download Hamachi, install it, but instead of create a new network they need to hit join an existing network. Now right here in the network ID they do need to type in what you called your network in Hamachi. Uh, it is case sensitive so they have to get the capitals and the lower cases right and then the password that you created you give them and when they hit join it should link right up right here it'll show your server name and show you connected and anyone else you've allowed to connect 
And like I already said, they need to then, all they have to do is run Minecraft, uh, click Add Server, and then type in whatever they want, which it could match this, just so they know whose server they're connecting to. And then they need to type in your IP address that the world can see, the outside IP address, which should be next to your name when on their computer. It'll be next to your name like this. You know, if they look up here by the power button, they're going to see their number, and this is where some people could mess up. They're going to type in their number. It's going to say, hey, there's no server here, and they're going to wonder, you know, what's going on. Uh, one other thing is when you run Hamachi and you join a network, or I think even when you create it, but especially when your friends join it, it's gonna Windows is going to do its little pop-up, like, you know, what type of uh, network is this you're connecting to, and tell them to just hit home, not public, so that everything is unlocked the way it should be and ports are opened so that you don't have any problems playing. Uh, and that should be it. Um, that's all I did, and it was pretty simple. A lot simpler than this probably made it sound, but I just tried to spell out everything and the problems you might have and whatnot. There is, you know, some more stuff you can do. There are server commands if you, you know, need to like, <laughs> like uh, one time one of our friends got really lost when we didn't know what we were doing, and so I used the teleport command to bring him back to me, but I try not to do that stuff too much. Anyways, there's stuff like that you can do, but it's pretty simple to get it up and running. Uh, so I hope that this video helped you out, and please tell your friends about my channel and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, have a good day, and thanks for watching.